your help, Sonny! It's an emergency! Oh. The ghosts have gone hostile! <laughs> what are you doing on the floor? Oh. Never mind that! I'm preparing the pixelator! Hold uh, no, no, no. still, young feller! Uh, no, no, no. Here we go! Uh, uh, Luigi. I knew our paths would cross again. You seem a bit tense, son. Relax. We're perfectly safe here in this impenetrable bunk bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? I imagine you've been off adventuring with that daredevil brother of yours. Me? Oh, I've just been continuing my research on paranormal happenings and whatnot. In fact, after our last adventure, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that. Let me fill you in on our ghostly predicament. See that on the screen? That there is the Dark Moon. It's a mysterious celestial body that has a pacifying effect on all of the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I heard about it, I jumped at the rare chance of studying to study ghosts in a peaceful environment. It was incredible, my boy. I was doing some of the best research from, of my long and storied career. That is, until something snapped inside the ghost and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad, I had to escape from the gloomy manor to, and hide here where the ghost can't find me. Of course, I'm not one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I wanted to know why the ghost freaked out. So I settled in and I did some research to figure out what had happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The dark moon had vanished from the sky. And on top of that, the whole Evershade Valley had become enveloped in an eerie fog. Now, I can't be sure, but I think the disappearance of the Dark Moon is what caused this mess. And what a mess it is! If we don't do something about it, the ghost might leave this valley and terrorize the world beyond. Or still, my research would go to waste. We can't let that happen, my boy. Now, I've got some good news and some bad news. Wait here. The good news is that I found a fragment of the Dark Moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the Dark Moon nearby, meaning the thing is broken. And this Dark Moon piece seems to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's a disruptive energy that suppresses the Dark Moon's ability to pacify ghosts. But lucky for us, I've got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sonny! 
It seems to have regained its original power. <laughs> and did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments. Criminy! All the fog around this bunker is gone. <laughs> Quick, let's take a look at this map of Evershade Valley. <laughs> Luigi, do you know what this means? We should be able to reach the gloomy manor now. But more importantly, it means that restoring the Dark Moon will solve all of our problems. When we find all the Dark Moon pieces, the fog in the valley will vanish and the ghosts will return to normal. But until then, all those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you come in, Luigi. Oh, you're the best ghost wrangler I know, son. Coincidentally, you're the only ghost wrangler I know. So what do you say, young feller? Will you help me capture the ghost and restore the Dark Moon? <laughs> oh, of course you will. It'll be just like old times. If we're to restore the Dark Moon, we'll need to get you properly equipped. I've got just a device for the job, but I left it in the gloomy manner. Mind fetching it for me, Sonny? I'm not going to read all the dialogues for the uh, missions, but I might as well just start off here. What's going on, everybody? Number 321 here welcome you all back, yes, back to Luigi's Mansion. Not one or three. We're going in between the games and actually reaching the game that I've been wanting to record for so long. I wanted to play this game. I wanted to do a let's play of this game for so long. So long. So long in fact that, they, that Nintendo decided to make a remake of the game, which I am super happy. So I don't have to like have another 3DS game that I need to record. But uh, yeah, we're going to get right into things. What are you scared of, Sonny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts, and they're not exactly harmless. But looky here, with my brains and your, uh, your... We're in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the dark moon, which means you're going to need some ghost hunting gear, son. Wouldn't you know it? I left my po new Poltergust 5000 somewhere inside the gloomy manor. So now that I've cleared the blasted fog from around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Look familiar? This customized DS have an interactive map of the Gloomy Manor on it. It'll also allow me to communicate with you while you're exploring. Classic Nintendo using Nintendo games to be their uh, communication devices. Ooh, a flashlight! And it's mighty dark in there, so you'll want this flashlight. Okay, youngster, let's test the DS. Hey, 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 hey. So, there's gonna be a lot of differences here between the 3DS version of this game and the Switch version of this game. Um, I don't know if you can do it on handheld mode of the Switch, because the handheld mode for Switch does have a touch screen, but you would normally just tap on the bottom screen, I think, to answer the, the uh, call. But now we can just, just press a button. Press a button, press a button, press a button. Okay, please stop. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and mark an important location for you. That's the garage. I think that's where I left the Poltergeist 5000. You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy manor with my new and largely an untested pixelator. Let's so follow the pixel make it this time. Hold on to your mustache. So, I'm just pressing buttons just to get a feel of everything here. It looks Hello. like... Oh, the D-pad, yeah. Hello. 
All right, so we got the classic stuff. We got the right stick to control the cam, to control the light. I mean, we got the left stick to just to move around. If you hold ZL or ZR, you get to have Luigi. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It sidestep shuffle, whatever it's called. He just has more control over himself. Whenever you uh, hold ZL or ZR. Um, same thing with the R and L as well. So maybe they'll do something else. If you hold X, the uh, light goes up. B, I think, makes you look down with the light. And A and Y seem to do the exact same thing as well. You guys ever seen that, uh... That one meme huh? with uh, oh. John Cena, yeah, cool. just him dancing. Okay, Luigi, 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 mm -hmm. come in, Luigi. You there, young fella? Ah, there you are. I was worried that the battery died in the DS, but I turned mm -hmm. the screen brightness down, so it should be good for a while. You look like a little nervous, son. Try to loosen up a bit. Besides, tiptoeing about won't get us anywhere. You can run it by holding B. While walking. Now get a move on. Alright. Another thing. Luigi can interact with other I ooh, with, with objects. And of course, if you guys know, I'm going to be going for 100%. So if there's any collectibles here, I'm definitely going to have to go back to get. But we'll worry about that on some other time. Let's just get into this manor so we can just start this game. Alright, we can't get into the manor. So... I should mention that when I said that I wanted to play this game for a long time, I even tried going to emulation for a bit, but was unable to do it. So there will be some things that I do know, some things that I don't know, but I don't know everything about this game. So we'll be going, we'll be experiencing this together. Unless you um, play the original. Some good detail. Yeah, we can't get inside. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Gotta love Luigi. I'm gonna need me that key though. Hey. It feels so good to be back playing under Luigi. Bye. It feels good being, playing a Luigi's Mansion game again. It looks like... Yeah, we have... Ooh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be so fun. Alright, let's go. I gotta get used to pressing X. Hello? Uh, wow! Oh. Oh. It's a lot of stuff here. Um, okay. So yeah, this one's marked on the map, so I should just go for this one first. Money. Not money. Stop doing that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that for every time. <laughs> ah, you found it. Good look, good work, Luigi. That there is the new and improved Poltergeist 5000. It's simple to use. Just hold down ZR to vacuum. Before you go hunting ghosts, why don't you test it out on some of the junk in that room? 
Come on, give her a whirl. Ciao. Ciao. So yeah. Got access to a lot of stuff now, so that's the way out. Ready to clear the room, and I'm pretty sure you can interact with a bunch of like random stuff here. There's a bunch of coins here. And if I remember correctly, you do want to be thorough when it comes to collecting stuff if you do want to try and get everything in this game. So I'm pretty sure these missions... I'm pretty sure the game is categorized off by missions. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'll take that. I didn't even know I needed the key. Oh. Oh. Yellow. How are you liking the Poltergeist 5000 so far, Luigi? Mm -hmm. Not too shabby, eh? Just wait until you catch some ghosts with the thing. In fact, there should be a few nearby. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I know you young fillers are about learning them by doing, but you really should take a look at the guide. Just open the pause menu with plus and then select guide. You'll thank me later. Nah, we good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take that vacuum of yours and just suck up anything you see. Like this fake door here. Can I go in here? Mud room. ZL is how you blow. And what is this? Money. It's more money. Oh, golden bones! Speaking of which, you guys see this little... Okay. Oh. Yellow. You seem to have found something very special there, Luigi. I fear that your chances of finding one of those is better if you have a lot of treasure. I get the feeling that bone will come in handy when you need it most. But that's just a wild guess. Yep, pure speculation. I want to see him. Those who see oh. oh the collectibles oh so I forgot about the collectibles in this game Oh well dang He was going crazy too you saw him jumping around when I had the uh, window closed and all or I wasn't look at the window I got two keys and some spiders so two keys not bad actually uh. so I needed a key for this door huh. so so you're already used to that green circular pan on the wall then locks the door all you've got to do is flash it with the criminy the poltergeist 5000 is missing its strobe you won't be able to open that door without it those pesky ghosts must have hit it somewhere it looks like a little green light bulb find it post haste ciao 
Alright, so if that's the case... Because I do remember how this game works sometimes. Oh, that, that was my last key. But look, I'm pretty sure after a little bit, you're going to get forced out of the uh, area so if the mission is done. So I'm just going to... I'm just trying to... Uh, What's up here? Can I go in here? Nope. All right. Hey. Yeah. Ho ho. Yeah. Ho. Feller. Don't go flashing yourself with that. Show bulb isn't a toy. It's a powerful tool. For one thing, it can activate any of my inventions that feature green circular panels. And it's mighty easy to use. Just aim and press A to flash. Try it on a nearby door. Alright. So, I am curious because there was a... Whoops. There was another room here that required a show bulb here. But... I also don't want to, like, go off the path. So if I need to if I need to backtrack to grab stuff, I can I can always just do that. I don't want I don't really need to stress too much about grabbing stuff right now since it's it's, it's missions. Oh, hello. That's a ticket, Sunny. But there's more. The show bulb allows you to stun ghosts by flashing them. Only then they can be captured. Hmm. Got that? Now go give those paranormal dust bunnies what for. Ow. Paranormal dust bunnies. That's a new one. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to suck up this carpet. Second, I'll take this too. I'm getting money, money. And now, it's time! Alright, never mind. It is not time. I thought I'd be fighting him now. Oh, there it is. So, just as simple as that. You flash him, you pull back, and once you pull up the meter from pulling back successfully, you actually get a little, uh, Charge pull or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Funnily enough, I've actually played something similar to this before. What is happening over here? Oh. All three at the same time? Let's go. The more you get together in a combo, the more money you get. And there we go. And it's the first mission. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit, of Luigi. Literally. Mm. <laughs> it's like old times, eh, feller? All right, that's enough for now. I'll bring you back to the bunker. And there we go. Honestly, a perfect mission. I did it. 
So confetti at the end, and that's it for the first mission of the game. Third time, 12 minutes. I've captured six ghosts. No health loss. 734 treasure, and it was a two star. Mm -hmm. So this is ranked up to three stars. I have not collected a single piece of a piece of. I have not single. I collect. I didn't collect the gem yet. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go right back into things. Okay. All your pixels to boot. Good work, Sunny. You might just make it out of this mess. Let's see what you set up with the Poltergeist 5000. What's up, new ghosts? I'm pretty sure they're called Greenies, which is kind of funny. A lot of money too. And it actually worked towards upgrading the poltergeist. So that's gonna be fun to uh, run into. But I think that's gonna be it for now. Incredible. I'll start studying these ghosts post haste. Uh, wondering where that pipe goes? All the stuff you collect goes to the super safe vault below. It's a good idea to visit it often to check your progress and see the results of my studies. I've got ghost to crib Shins, hints, and even ghost spectral mass. Knowledge is power after all. Okay, I'll scan the gloomy manor in search of paranormal signals. I reckon the ghost that took the other dark moon pieces is hiding in there. And yeah, like I said before, that's it. So there's still something I'm missing in the first area, so I have to come back for that later, but I'll do that in the next episode. Thank you all so much for joining me on Luigi's Mansion. I hope you guys are excited for this playthrough as I am. Um... And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in the next episode. And, and uh, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Peace out, my gamers. I got my, in I got my outros mixed up. Just peace out. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum.